Hi guys, I'm uh, recording this video to show you how to use uh, data stream in Canvas. Um, you need to log in uh, from a computer in, in, in Canvas. So you could go to the library or any of the labs in the School of Management. Um, so what you need to do is to go to the um, this applications when do and then find the um, under the applications for the School of Management you will see the this icon here for data stream 5.1 all what you need to do is just double click on this um, take a few takes a few seconds until it uh, loads up sometimes it come back to you with an error message that uh, um, you can't log in because of the uh, number of login at that point where uh, too many people log in at the same time. So I think there is a maximum of the number of people who can use the data stream, uh, um, the database at, in, in the same time in in, uh, in Canvas or in, in Swansea University, according to probably according to the license, um, the, the type of license we have. Uh, so if this happened, you need then to, to log in uh, later on. Um, so let me just... Yeah, let me show you now what we have. So in in here you can um, you can uh, uh, search for whatever uh, variable you would like to have. But before you do that, just make sure here in the data you choose time series data. So it give you the entire the data for the entire series as well. So let's say uh, for example I'm looking for um, I mean very basic thing like GDP for example. Uh, gross domestic product um, and I want this to uh, have all the data available in data stream or for this for this variable so I want to start from the data stream base here so again so before I search for the series I for, first of all I made sure that I have I choose this for single series data I choose time series and from the time period here make sure that you choose the data stream based date so you actually ask in data stream to um, um, to retrieve the data for the for the entire series so let's, let's click OK and then here I'll say well find uh, series so now I'm looking for the series called GDB of course you will hear you see different type of um, filters here so this is um, you can filter to economics data and um, from here you can choose the market so if you market here in this case will be country so if you choose for example let's say I want data for UK um, so you could choose uh, it doesn't matter like I mean you can choose more than one country but basically just to make it easy I'm just gonna choose uh, data for um, let's say for UK um, if you want to, to choose for let's say for UK and the US so then only select it so now all the data I have here just for UK and and for the US if uh, if you want it here you choose the the source of the data and here you choose the frequency of the data so you can filter uh, uh, more so let's say I want um, uh, monthly data or quarterly data let's say so let's say monthly data and uh, and, and, and and let's see what we have here then so now it's filtered data we still have uh, so many uh, data sets here here when you uh, for example click in this so it will show you the definition of this uh, variable and how it is calculated and everything so as you can see this is not exactly what we want so you need to to search for the variable uh, variables you want you have so many uh, too many services here, like we have 1940 so we, do, we don't want we don't want all of these we want just GDP so uh, let me uh, apply different filters so to say um, here give you all the data sources so let's say I want for the UK first I'll start with the ONS data the um, the data come from the office for national statistics for example um, again, you still have um, like uh, you still have a number. This this actually uh, make it less, of course, because I choose monthly, so make it very restricted. So let's let's choose annually or quarterly. So just make it to have more options. So um, in that case, as you see, we can have the this symbol is very important. I'll show you why. And here the history of the data. So we have data for sixty one 
years from if you just hover on this it'll show you that we have data from 19 um 55 to 2016 so let's just make it easy like um just to um summarize the whole idea so rather than just go and find uh, different data or different variables. So I'll choose just the first one. Let's say the first one, this is the first variable you want, GDB at market prices, for example. So you, if you click on the symbol here, so this will um, take you back to the screen and you see GDB at market prices. If you run now, if you click run now, this will request the data. So you have all the data here. So this is, remember, this is UK, UK GDB at market prices. And uh, these are quarterly data, start from 1955 to 2016. So of course you could um, um, copy this data, the everything, and just highlight it, and copy and, and, and paste in Excel, let's say into Excel. So let's say uh, copy all, and let's say um, I want to have this in an Excel uh, file, um, um let's see so just right click and then paste oh sorry it just didn't get it right so didn't copy it so select to copy oops not sure where it's the problem yeah so now we we paste all the the data we have so what is easier than this rather than um um, copy and paste you could as I said this symbol here is very important so rather than than doing this you could find all the symbols uh, for these um, so if I go just back to this so this is the first one so let's say I want um, a few variables and I say I have the symbols of these for these variables so let's say um, I'm gonna take this one I'm gonna copy this symbol here and remember this is uh, quarterly data and I'll show you another way to do the same thing. So in, in Excel, you could actually retrieve the, uh, the, the, the data from using going to the add-ins here, and you'll see under this, you'll see data stream, and you can request a time series. So when you go to this, all what you need to do is to paste that symbol here. So this is the symbol for the same data. And um, you, you need to be very careful with this because um, you have to, to, to specify all these uh, entries here. So, for example, here, this is not, the frequency is not daily. So, if if you press OK now, if you submit, it will give you an error message. It's not going to give you the data. So, what you need to do is to be very uh, accurate when you, when you, when you, uh, uh, when you enter the uh, these values here. So, let's say, so these are quarterly data. So, now change the frequency. I don't want only for the last two years i want actually from the base date so i want all the data to retrieve all the data um and also you could display the currency how it is is, is measured you can also hyperlink uh, to serious me metadata which is very important which tell you where um all the information about the wh wh how the uh, data was collected and the how it is measured and etc i'll show you an example now so let's just click on that now and also you could embed you could have like a, a button into um into excel so every time you open excel in the same computer in canvas which because the computer is connected to data stream it will refresh the file and it will download the up-to-date data so if there is any data came uh, available after you um, created that file and um, that excel file it will actually update the file and and, and it will download the uh, most updated data sets so um so let's say um okay let's just choose that as well so let's say now press submit so when we submit now here you can see this is the button i said that i talk about and here's the information you see i ask you to um to click the hyperlink because to activate that one because when you when you click on this it will take you to internet browser and it will show you everything about the all the information about this variable so you can see here the name is gdb at market price um and this is the symbol for um what we have um in in data stream 
Um, so that's how this stream identify this time series. This is where it starts and this is the end. This is for UK and that's the source of the data. This is quarterly data. It's measured in uh, sterling pound, in millions and in etc. So that's why it is important to keep record of all of this because you need to report this in your in your work. Or for any other reason when you want to go back to this data and you're not sure how you um <clears throat> uh, what these numbers mean how they are measured etc so you just can go back easily to to the source and as i said this is the refresh button you can easily either um just click on that button to refresh the whole series or if we um uh close the file and then if you if you open the file again in a later uh day uh um, it, it will update the, the data set so it'll download the uh, the most updated data set in uh, in data stream of course you can look for more than that so you can uh, you can choose um, uh, many uh, of these so you can choose like five six so for example if that's what all what you need the data you need is five six variables you can just take the uh, symbol from here you uh, enter this into your request and then you can have the um, the data uh, included uh, imported directly into an Excel uh, file. So that was a very uh, quick video to show you how to use data stream on Canvas to uh, collect data. So again, very quickly to summarize what we said here. So all what you need to do, you go to this uh, application here and um, you find the um, the icon under the um, School of Management folder, data stream 5.1 and then when you double click on that this will open the data uh, data stream and make sure from single data uh, from single series data to make sure to choose the uh, time series data and you go to the time period here choose the data stream based date so just to retrieve all the data uh, that is available in data stream and then you type here you search here for whatever variable you want and in our case we choose to uh, search for JDB and once you do this you can make uh, you can have different filters here and when you decide which one you are gonna use you can just use that click on that symbol here and then run it will uh, it will it will um, retrieve the data you see here because I think here to only one year so I need to go back to this and make sure that I clicked on that one so if you yeah now yeah now here we go so we have all the data available for that country that I think the US GDP so anyway so that was very quick video the last thing I will show you just um, in this video which I already did um, is how to do this so you could copy the data and paste in Excel or you can actually create um, um, uh, a request you can uh, generate this request from here uh, in Excel under add-ins you will see data stream and here we see time series request once you do that just enter the basic information just make sure that these are accurate and then match what is um, in the data you actually uh, trying to retrieve to not uh, just to avoid receiving uh, error messages so that was everything related to data stream is very very simple and very straightforward and it is available in canvas as i said you can't access this from home so you have to be using computer uh, in canvas uh, thank you so much for watching and i will uh, post other videos later related how to collect data set uh, different data from different different sources thank you